If you would love to learn about the energies associated with this full moon lunar eclipse in Leo, which is so exciting, it occurs on January the 31st, then keep watching. another episode and if you're new here my name is Mel I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday all about teaching you to vibrate on the frequency of love with angel guidance I'm so excited for this video oh my gosh and this is an additional video to the previous one that I have done um, as you know I'm not an astrologer and I didn't realize that the lunar eclipse and a full moon coincides together um, so yeah, you've got some bonus content. And as you know, I love to give detailed clarity for each full moon and new moon. So this will be probably like 20 to 30 minutes. We'll just see what comes up. So, uh, I'm so excited because I can just feel that there is just a massive change of energy coming. And as I was preparing to film this reading today, I could feel my excitement kind of um, rise. And then I just heard that song, Rise Up. Um, God, it's flipping high. Anyway, it's on my MK Love playlist on Spotify. It's the chilled one. So um, yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, so this is the Angel Oracle from Darren Virtue. We're going to start with this one and then work our way through an additional three decks. Or we'll just see what I'm drawn to. But I have four decks in front of me, so we'll just see. All right. Oh, and by the way, this is a general reading. So just, if you're new, just take from it what feels right from you, for you. Your angels will probably give you that feeling and you'll be like, if I pull the card and you're like, I've no idea what you're talking about. And others you'll be like, oh my God. And I had a couple of you guys message me on Instagram and say that, and said that when I pulled a card for the, um, the lunar eclipse, um, some of you said that you got super emotional. So if you're feeling those emotions, then that is an indication that your angels are trying to get a, a very detailed message through to you. Um, yeah, so let's just crack on. All right, angels, what is, whoa, okay. Wow, time to go. Okay, this could be taken two ways. It could be that the relationship that you're in or the job that you're in, um, Something is going to change. I feel like this is a new chapter coming through, which coincides with the the eclipse energies. But this could be like um, time to get cracking or time to move on. Anyways, either way in which you... And then I just saw the wheel card from like the tarot. Um, it's like you have the opportunity to determine, to determine your own fate. If something isn't serving you, then it's time to release it and surrender to the process and set yourself free. And others of you, like this new change, <laughs> what was that song? And we're rolling, rolling down the river, do 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 <laughs> And then I heard that song rolling down the river so it's time to go and then there's ocean is that the ocean at the back yeah it's like you're on a mission whatever is happening if something is ending because lunar eclipses bring up things to the surface that either it basically magnifies things that aren't working and before you're like oh you know i'll give him another chance or you know i'll just keep staying in this job and the lunar eclipse is like dude there is always something better no no that's not the right thing to say the universe will always guide you to your highest good. So feel those emotions in your in your chest. And if it doesn't feel right, then the, just surrender to the process and say, angels, I am where I am and it's okay. I need help and guidance for this next chapter of my life. Whew, that's interesting. All right, let's get another card for clarity and see what comes up. I feel like I'm like a different person as soon as I press record. My energies feel so much higher. Okay, what else do my MK Love fam need to know, angels? For the Leo lunar eclipse, which is also a super moon, and it's a blue moon. A blue moon is when you have two full moons in one um, month. Okay. And we actually haven't, oh, oh, and then we have got this one. Um, and we actually haven't had a blue moon in 150 years. 
think I heard that in an astrology video I was watching. And then the next one we got was Listen. Listen to the sound deep within. Okay, so I think this, well, this totally works with that one. What is coming up when you see that? You need to listen to this divine guidance within because your intuition will always, always, always lead you to your highest good. You may not understand it. You may be like, why is this happening to me? I thought this was the right thing. But it's like your angels are trying to connect with you. A way you can listen is by doing your self-love practices because it will put you in a higher vibration. And when you are vibrating on the frequency of love, AKA smiling, having a good time, dancing around, like having a bloody amazing cup of tea. Oh God, what is on the side of that? I've got like <laughs> some toast in there. Um, when you're in that vibration, that's when you can hear the messages a lot easier. Something that I have been doing recently, which would totally help you out, is journaling. I just started journaling. It's my third day in a row <laughs> since I have been doing it. And I've been doing as soon as I wake up, doing like a stream of consciousness or I'll pull a couple of tarot cards and just write what comes up. And I find that that has helped me. Oh, my speaker just shut off. <laughs> and I have found that has helped me um, hear the messages because when you first wake up there is no resistance in your vibration it's like you've had time to rest and rejuvenate and to recover and when you wake up that is the best time to hear the angel guidance that is why I recommend doing the self-love practices in the morning um, if journaling is something that you're already doing amazing if you're into meditation fabulous if you need help in um, in meditating, I have a whole chakra meditation on this channel. Um, I go through six of the seven chakras. I haven't made the seventh one because I haven't found music that I can use without it being copyright. Um, but that would totally help you out. If you're feeling like you've done all of that and you're like, Mel, I still have no idea, then that is when you need to book yourself a private reading with me and I will be able to tune in to your angels and your frequency and work out what the flip you need to know to move forward. So let's get another card from this deck. So we have time to go and listen. By the way, I just watched Dream Girls with that song Listen the other day. Oh, so good. Such a powerful song. It's the first time I heard Beyonce and I was like, whoa, this girl can sing. Like she can really sing. I think it was a very vulnerable time for her because I think that was around the time when she left the management of her father and you could just feel the angst and it's like, you're not listening to me. Anyways, moving along. Okay, angels. Clarity, please. Just one card. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank flip this came up. <laughs> Actually, this one came up in the lunar eclipse video. This is actually the second time I'm feeling, filming this. I'll speak more about this card in a second. But I actually bought um, a brand new camera and I was so excited to use it. It overheated within five minutes of recording my video. I was like, I just spent over a thousand dollars on a camera and it's not working. So I surrendered to the process. I asked for a refund and I set myself free. Anyways, moving on to this. This card is beautiful for life purpose. What do you want? Um, so I feel like you need to take action with this life purpose. You can't really just be like, I want to man, like if this is a dude, like you want to manifest a husband. It's like, you can't just feel the emotions associated with it and think he's going to come up. It's like, you need to get into the right vibration because your vibe attracts your tribe. If you're like a miserable slob and actually that's really, that's not, that's not nice to say. If you were in a lower frequency, can you notice? Like I still mess up too. I've got 17 seconds to change that thought. If you are vibrating at a lower frequency, um, such as like fear and depression and you've got anxiety, that is not going to bring your manifestation to you. The way you can do that is by taking action. Time to go, get cracking on, on those self-love practices because your angels are saying, when you're in that vibration, that's what I'm going to give you the messages that is going to totally relate to your life purpose. Eclipse is massive, massive transformation. Um, it usually has to do with relationships. Uh, it can also do with your career as well. 
in the last eclipse season, which happened in August last year. So if you didn't watch the previous video, this is the first eclipse for this year, which means that we just ended the eclipse phase from August last year, which it started, which was around the time I was building my website for melaniekatelove.com and when Peter proposed to me. So this is, I can't stress how important this time is. So this can mean two things, either you are the teacher and you are teaching others your knowledge and your and skills and strategies or this is a time for you to become the student when you are learning from somebody else so what comes up for you when you see that card awesome all right let's move on to the next deck this is archangel raphael this is a healing deck from dorian virtue I love Raphael. He actually helps with life purpose, um, life changes. Um, he's just really beautiful. <laughs> All right, Raph. What do you have for my MK Love fam? What do they need to know? For the Leo Lunar Eclipse. Oh, can you see that? There's two cards. So I'm going to pick the back one first because that was the first one I saw. Okay, home help. So this is, this could be taken so many ways. It's hard when it's a general reading. So it could be taken as in like you need help with the, the home situation. Um, it could be, I feel like this is relationships. But you're on a mission and you're like got your armor. So I feel like maybe you're going into battle like it things may be a little bit toxic or maybe they have been and you've got and now you are prepared to stand your ground um let me read this one i've never pulled this card the whole time i've had this deck so it says dear god and archangel raphael thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you the angels and others in matters regarding my family and home I feel like there's relationships. This may not apply to all of you. This is just a general reading, okay? So what comes up when you see that? Are you having issues with um, a spouse or a family member? Um, if you're feeling like when you're around those people that your vibration is lowered um, and it, you know, it really pulls on the heartstrings. It's like, why are you being such an asshole? You know, like you just like, oh, I don't understand why you're acting like this. It's like, well, I do because you've got a million blockages and I'm mirroring to you what you need to change. Um, so the angels are saying you need to ask us for help because they feel like they're trying to, to, they're trying to give you signs and symbols, but you're not listening. Like they're trying to help you deal with this situation in the most um, positive manner. Um, but the angels are saying, okay, you really need to ask us for help so we can guide you. We can put you on the right path. Um, this may actually come as a time of divine intervention. So I'm interested to see what the next card is. Uh -huh, we've got a relationships card. Okay, so this is totally to do with the relationships with those people that either you live with or are directly related to, aka your family. So are they, because they've got the life purpose card, I'm meaning like, I feel like they're not supportive of this direction that you're in. Maybe there's just that one family member that just doesn't get it. Um, but I feel like this card can mean so many things. This could be the relationship with yourself. Are you like 100% convinced that you are amazing and that you are destined for greatness in that you can achieve unlimited potential? Like there is nothing that you can't achieve because when you tune into your intuition, it's like you have your own support crew. They're like cheering on, yeah, yeah. You know, like they're just there to help you. So I feel like things are getting a little bit rough at home. We've got two home cards. I don't know. The, I just feel like things are a little bit tough at home, which is affecting the life purpose. Maybe it's making you not 
take that step because you've got someone in, in your ear going, you can't do it, you can't do it. Like, I don't know. What comes up when you, when you see this one? I wish I could read for each and every one of you individually. I'm like, right, Justin, this is what this means. Right, Maya, this is what this means. Emma, Rosalind, Joe. Like, I can just list off what it means, but it, I, this is just a general, okay? So just take from it what feels right for you. I would have hit a nerve in your heartstrings and you'd be like, oh, God, how does she know that? <laughs> you know? So I just need to have a cup of tea, just hold on. <laughs> Oh my God, Peter bought the amazing soy milk last night. It just makes cups of tea taste so much better. Okay, this is the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. Let's see what comes up from this one. I'm super interested. Okay, angels, what do we need to know for time to go? Listen, life purpose, home help, and relationships. What does my MK Love Fam need to know? The Leah Lunar Eclipse, which is also a super moon and a blue moon. One card for guidance, please. This back one. Yep. It just kind of hit my pinky. Oh, perseverance. Okay. Everything that you are going through is divinely orchestrated because it is preparing you. God, these cards are dirty. Is preparing you for what you have asked for. I feel like a lot of you are in this uncomfortable stage, but just know that when you're in that stage, it's like you've just had this little seed and you're like planted in the ground, and it's like, okay, I'm just gonna like, <laughs> I just saw a vision uh, when I used to be a primary school teacher and I used to teach um, like, well, what would you guys call it, like kindergarten or preschool or prep or element, no, not elementary before they go to school and you have the little kids and you're teaching them to be like creative and it's like, okay, we're gonna plant a seed in the ground and bury yourself under the soil and then oh, we just put some water on you and then you start to shoot up. Like that's just what I saw. It's like you're being planted in fertile soil because you know, if you're on the right path, your angels are bringing you to your highest good where you need to be. And you're kind of like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Where's my husband? Where's the job? Where's the money? Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Instead of focusing on the lack of focus on what you have, there is so much to be grateful for. Okay, that's enough. That was a bit dramatic. I don't know where that came from. Okay, let's move on. Let's get another card from that deck. I like that one. That was really good. Ah, I just had two cards flip. The first one is that you need to move your body. And the second one, environment. Okay, so that's the home again. So that kind of talks about that one. Um, being in higher vibration. I've actually read for a couple of people recently and they're actually living in toxic situations, which is stunting their growth and development or like delaying where they can flourish. The angel is saying you need to exercise and I need to take my own advice because I still haven't done this consistently. I did like three days of like yoga uh, for this beautiful yo uh, YouTube channel. Her name is Boho Beautiful. Oh my God, she is literally beautiful. And she's vegan and she's spiritual and she travels around the world in a van, which is like, oh my God, you're literally me. And I love her. So you need to move the energy. Why? Because, you know, when the shit hits the fan and you're like, I can't deal with this. Being in a high vibrational state by pumping your lymphatic system, I totally need to take my own advice. Um, it's gonna help you cope better with this situation because change is coming. Oh, what was that song? Sometimes my angels tell me things so quickly I can't pick it up. A change is gonna come. Oh, from Seal. Oh, that song is on my MK Love fam. M MKL. I changed the names on Spotify. MKL. Or MK Love. I don't know what I called it. Um, it's the chilled playlist. It's the song with Seal. A change is gonna come. A change is gonna come. Right now. Um, yeah, it's gonna come. Because we're amazing and we've been doing our self-love practices and we've been working our little asses off. Yes, my loves. Okay, so yeah, and then the environment is like, 
Are you in a high vibrational environment? I feel like that's totally relating to the house, the home card. That maybe things have been a little toxic at home. White sage, everything. Especially do that on the full moon, which is the 31st, which is the time in which this is happening. I put on the first, like the first seven seconds, you would have seen the card pop up. Watch this video again once I am finished and screenshot it and you'll be able to work out your time zones. I've only got for, for like London, um, New York, um, Los Angeles and Austra and Brisbane for Australia. Um, yeah, white sage. I need to buy white sage because I'm out. Um, I've actually made a video on white sage. So if you go into, I'll just link it for you all that way. I'll link it for you because I can't remember, but I show you how to white sage your house and why it's important. All right, let's move on to the Angel Tarot from Darren Virtue, okay? Oh, I can see one card and it's the Chariot. Yes, you know I love the Chariot. The Chariot is like taking action, like da, 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 da. it's like you're on a mission. And which, yes, yes. Goosebumps, which is like this one here. It's the same, it's like you're on a, oh, they're both facing the same way. Oh, so you're on the right track, you're going, Yes, my loves. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, why do I get so excited? Because it says the number seven. If you are new to tarot, there are 21 major arcana cards, at, or 22, 21? 21, I, don't, I can't remember. Um, anyways, and each of them is all about a life-changing event. And then we got like the life purpose card. So this kind of fits in with two cards that we have. It's extra important. All of the other cards, like if I just pull up one, like see this one here where it's just like the 10 of air. There's four suits in tarot. And that one is like your day-to-day -day activities. A seven, if you have any major numbers, that is like a massive life transformation. Like you're, you're literally like... Um, that song rolling rolling on the river do do we heard that at the start it's like you're on a, a mission and it's like you balance like the masculine and the feminine can you see that the dark um, horse we've got the black horse and we've got the white horse so i feel like that's like the balance you finally got the balance and you're like oh my god i finally worked out how to do this flipping stuff and now you're like da -da 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 -da! and you're like you know like this is great this is such great energy so an important achievement, which is the restoring the balance, self-discipline and willpower. How are you gonna get that? By meditating, doing your self-love practices. You need to exercise, even if it's just a walk. And I know that I'm speaking to myself, Mel. Go for a walk. I would, and start doing, I just need to do it consistently. I'm not at that stage yet, but I will get there. And I know that I will. And I know this is a year that I'll be like fit, you know? Like I spent so many years going through like how to master food. Well, yeah, I done that when I became raw vegan and then became vegan and then became like intuitive vegan. Oh, there's so many different labels. And then like I learned to master the mind and then I started channeling angels. And I feel like this is the year where I get the body, you know? <sighs> yes, guys. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's very nice. Okay, that's so great. One more. One more. Come on. Let me just check to see if I've missed anything. The chariot. Let me read the dreamer's journey. I just love reading the dreamer's journey. Okay. Next on our voyage, we encounter the chariot. All the cards along the journey so far have led us to this moment. Then I heard that song. On a moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. For a moment like this, oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. Some people, oh, that's off. Some people wait a lifetime. For a moment like this, could this be the greatest love of all? I want to know that you would catch me with. Who sings that? Kelly Clarkson? Goosebumps, we're never aware. Uh, okay, continue. <laughs> it's like, we pause this segment for a little song by Melanie K. Love. <laughs> 
Okay, it says we've taken a leap of faith. We've become clear what we wish to accomplish. We have created a plan that includes logic, morality, and heart. Of course, it includes heart because oh, we have beautiful souls. Now we head out of this world and put all of that to the test. Oh my God, the songs that are going in my head. Um, Put our service to the test. Uh, that's like from Beauty and the Beast. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Okay. Um, with the chariot, we just, we'll get through this. Just hold it. <laughs> with the chariot, we discovered that life is challenging. There will always be people, multiple considerations to balance, and many moving parts to our chariot that must be maintained. Self-love is number one. Here we discover that there's a power. I've got the power in merely in merely desiring that our endeavors be a success. We learn self-discipline and determination, which is basically if you if you're new to the law of attraction, watch my playlist, the law of attraction for beginners. It's on the home screen when you click on my YouTube channel. Just scroll a little bit to the end. Um, because it talks about the importance of your thoughts because your thoughts become your um, your words that you speak and the words that you speak become your actions and they manifest into your reality. That's why I'm all about correcting your self-talk. Justin? <laughs> okay. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Okay. The charioteer is generally seen as having been victorious on his request. On her request. So much so that the accolades thrown his way make him visible in the public eye. Ooh, that's a little bit of recognition. So if you've been doing all your self-love practices, you know, you're on the right path, you're going to be rewarded for where you are. Ooh, that's so exciting. <gasps> that means I'm going to be rewarded for doing... Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, for some, the joy is... The joy of that is natural and it requires no effort beyond accepting and simply taking a bow. Why did I hear that song? The winner takes it all. That's from Mamma Mia. For others, this type of, this is what happens on a daily day basis. If you try and have a conversation with me on the phone, like I just spoke to my mom, she's like, just stop talking. <laughs> I was like, I just start singing because these songs come through and I haven't had the songs come through for a long time. So this is really good news. Um, hold on. Where are we up to? For others, that type of acknowledgement can feel very uncomfortable. Um, the chariot teaches us to have pride in our accomplishments and to allow others to express their appreciation in a public way. Joe, my beautiful friend, Joe. This is for you, my love. Just accept all this delicious goodness that is coming towards you because I am so proud of you and all the accomplishments that you have, um, that, you, that you're creating right now. Okay, I feel like that's it. I don't wanna go any further because I feel like that's a pretty good note to finish on and we are at 28 minutes. So things are like moving, the wheels are moving, you're on the right track. Self-love is so important because when you're on the, the chariot, it's like, you can deflect things a lot easier when you're in the right environment, AKA a higher vibrational state, the self-love practices. Ask your angels for help during this time if you're getting a little bit like, I don't know what to do. So I'm interested to hear like, what does this mean for some of you with the home? I feel like, for some of you, I feel like your family are giving you a hard time and that's kind of stunted your growth a little bit, but it's okay because you're on a mission now. You know where, where, what you need to do to move forward. Knowing and doing is two different things and I need to take my own advice. So how do you feel guys? How do you feel? Talk to me. It's like you hit the cricket sound. Anyway, I feel really good. I feel very optimistic for this time. I feel like this is a reading that you're gonna to continue to watch back on a number of times because like even if you go back to my full moon eclipse, uh, lunar eclipse from August last year, if you go back to that, watch it and be like, oh my God, what was I doing around that time? See if it triggered anything for you. Yeah. If you feel like you are having trouble, like listening to your guides and you're like, Mel, I know you've read for us as a general reading, but I don't really know what I need to do. Then that is when you need to book yourself a private reading. So I can give you literally 30 minutes of my time of detailed clarity and I can pull the cards that are just for you. 
Um, you can check that out on the, the link below. I've got some fabulous reviews um, from such beautiful people. Like I read from everyone from like um, New York Times bestselling authors, authors I've got two now, which is so nice, to um, entrepreneurs starting businesses, to mums having a tough time with their husbands and like, he's treating me like this, Mel, what do I do? To people who are trying to sell their house and like, Mel, I don't know what to do. You know, I can help give you that angel guidance. I help you, the readings that I do help you work out where are the blockages and what do you need to, to do to move forward so you are on the right path for your highest good. That's what I do and I love it. It's like the best thing in the whole wide world. I absolutely love, 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 love it. <laughs> Could that be a commercial? <laughs> um, the other thing, before I go, I know this is 30 minutes, but if during this full moon time, if you're in sync with the moon cycles, and I've actually been manifesting with the moon, this is going to be my second month, so many amazing things have been happening. If you apply forgiveness to anyone that has literally, you know, hurt your soul, or it could be to yourself, because sometimes we need to forgive ourselves because we're too judgmental, or like, we're our own worst... Um, our own worst enemy. I just heard that pink song. Don't let me get me. Don't want to feel so. Well, that's low vibrational. Don't repeat that. Um, so forgiveness is a really powerful time to apply during the moon phase. Um, I'll be writing a number of letters to people who, to a, a person who has really hurt me recently. And you will notice that because... I haven't been as active on Instagram. I used, I used to do lives like every week and post frequently and I just needed to take some time to rest and reflect and to heal. And it's amazing that we got the chariot card that's like, okay, now that you know where the contrast is, you know what you need to do to move forward. So forgiveness is massive during this time. My whole point for all of this is that if you need help and guidance during this time for forgiveness, I've actually created a forgiveness heals guide visualization. If you apply it during this eclipse season, it is like amplified times a thousand. It becomes so much more powerful. And once you release that, that's when you allow some more delicious goodness to come in to your vibration. Um, if you're on my self-love starter kit mailing list, I would have already sent you an email. It's very personal um, because I talk about a relationship that I was in like 11 years ago that was emotionally abusive. And the reason why I am a massive believer of releasing blockages. Um, but the, the full story is in the self-love starter kit mailing list. So if you haven't already booked, uh, downloaded this, it's free, the self-love starter kit. Um, click the link in my description as well and get on the mailing list and then you'll get that. Um, but it won't come straight away because I've kind of set it up as a series of emails. But that's good as well. There's so much goodness that I can help you with. It's just up to you. It's like, do you, do you want the free stuff? Great. If you want the free stuff, check out my videos on my channel. If you want further clarity and guidance, then download the forgiveness heals or if you want one on one support then book a private reading it's totally up to you just like if your intuition is drawn to it then go with it that is what's serving your highest good anyways my love i just wanted to say i'm so excited for you during this time i just want to let you know that it's okay these emotions that are coming up i feel like this is going to be a little bit of a an emotional time for you guys as you're like releasing these blockages because i feel like you've been through a bit of hell recently because you don't get the chariot card out of nowhere. It's like you've come from a time where you just needed to like just be. And now you're like, okay, I got the power. What was that other song that I just sang before? That Kelly Clarkson one? Anyways, I'll link that below so you guys can watch it. How exciting. Oh, another thing. I know there's like so many things to tell you. I'm going to do weekly readings for you for like the like from Monday to Sunday. Um, I'm gonna release them every Sunday, so it's gonna be my Sunday video. My Wednesday videos are gonna be like the in-depth, either the new moon or full moon. And in between those ones, I wanna do Q&A tea time. I wanna do it live so bad, but I don't know if my internet in Australia can handle it. I'm, yeah, I think I, I, I'm, I'm gonna ask my angels to help me because I really wanna to talk to you guys live time so I can answer the questions that have been emailed to me through my website at Q&A Tea Time. Um, 
And then once I've answered them, then I can answer your questions live after that. So that's my plan. I felt like the plan in which I was releasing a video for each phase of the moon wasn't working and you know, people weren't finding it. My videos dropped by like 500 views, which is fine because I know that I have 500 loyal MK Love fam. So if that's you and you watch every single flippin' video without fail, I appreciate you more than you will ever, ever know. And I just love you so much. And if you're new here, subscribe. Join the MK Love fam for a bunch of high vibrational souls. Anyways, my love, I've been speaking for 35 minutes. I'm gonna edit this thing. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Enjoy this energy and just know love heals all blockages. Goodbye, guys.